Hi guys, in this video we're going to create a basic uh, uh, sort of back spine control system. Uh, so I'm going to begin by uh, disconnecting the arms, legs and neck from the spine just to isolate it uh, to make it a little bit easier to um, make selections and so on. So I'm just going to hold down shift and click each of the um, hip, collar and the neck joint like that and I'm going to hit shift P on the keyboard uh, or you can go to edit unparent just here uh, and all that's going to do is just disconnect the spine so when I select the the spine like this it's not going to select the whole hierarchy uh, now just uh, briefly I just want to run through the uh, the actual uh, joints that we've got here so the bottom one is the root joint just here then I've got spine one spine two spine three uh, and then spine four now <clears throat> there's been a slight kind of uh, adjustment to some of the names here. They're not quite named correctly. So I'm just going to go through and rename a couple of these. So this one here should be, uh, this one here should be spine four joint. And then this one here should be spine three. Okay, so let's just double check those. So we've got the root joint, spine one, spine two, spine three, spine four. Okay. Um, keep in mind this one here is neck. All right. Um, all right. So what we're going to do is use um, basically a uh, an IK system, which is actually controlled by a curve or a spline. All right. Uh, and we'll find that under the uh, skeleton menu. Um, so we've got the, the usual create IK handle, but then we've got create IK spline handle. So I'm going to pop into the options for that. And what we want to do basically is just use the default settings with auto parent curve turned off just here. All right. So if I hit reset, you can see that's the default setting and I'm just going to turn this one off. Okay. So then what I want to do is find the first joint in my spine. Okay. Now the root joint at the bottom or the base joint. Uh, or the pelvis joint, whatever you've named that, that is not what we're going to actually activate this on. We're going to go one uh, joint up, which is my spine one. So I'm going to click on that one. Then I'm going to click up on the last spine joint just at the top here. And you'll see it creates an IK handle. Now, if I use the move tool, you'll notice that no um, tool manipulator appears. I don't get my little move handles. Um, the spine IK... Um, in this case, because it's being run from a curve, uh, the only thing that's going to uh, manipulate the shape of the, the joints or the position of the joints um, is that curve. And uh, so if we use the points in the curve to change the shape of the curve, that will then change the position of these joints. Um, now, it's a real pain trying to select those because basically what we would need to do is sort of hide... If I go into my show menu here for a second, so if I hide my joints, okay, that's going to hide all of that, but the curve is still on top of that IK handle. So if I switch my IK handle off, which is just here, then I can see that curve. And what I would have to do is come into the control ver vertices just here by right clicking on the curve. And uh, if I've got those selected, um, I'll just turn the joints back on. Um, if I adjust the position of those uh, vertices in the curve you can see that the joints move with it but that's a lot of messing around um, it's pretty clunky and it's not going to be easy to do when I'm animating so what I need to do is set up a handle system uh, for the uh, the uh, the points in this curve so that I don't have to keep switching into different modes and selecting points and things like that um, now in previous videos I've mentioned that we're going to um, add more or less all the handles at the end so what we're going to do initially is just set up the um, the the connections first, and then we'll uh, sort of add the handles in sort of at a later time. All right, so um, I'm just going to hide my joints again, like this. And what I want to do basically is set up a system where I can select the two upper points on this curve. Okay, so don't forget, if you right-click, it's Control Vertex. What I want to do is have the two top control vertices here selected um, and controlled by uh, one handle and then the two lower ones connected to a different handle. 
So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn off my symmetry as well because I think it's yeah it's uh, making the uh, selections look a little odd. Um, I'm going to start off by selecting the two upper uh, control vertices just here and I'm going to just turn this off for a second. Uh, I'm going to pop up to constrain uh, actually sorry I'm going to go to deform and select cluster just here. Uh, there's no settings for this that we need to change so you can just hit cluster and what you'll get is a little C shape um, active just here. I'm going to pop over to the channel box and rename this. So what I'm going to do is call this, um, uh, I'll call this, uh, let's say, maybe torso cluster. So what I do with cluster is I'll put in CLS for cluster and just hit enter. Okay, uh, and then what I'll do is the same for the bottom. So I'll select the curve again, hit control vertex, select the two bottom control vertices, and I'll create a uh, cluster by going to deform cluster. And then I'll give this a name and I'll call this uh, pelvis CLS or cluster. Okay, so if I select the cluster now and I move that around, you can see that it's going to move the curve. Um, and I can also rotate these as well to change the uh, the angle of that curve as well. Um, and the same thing will obviously work for the one at the bottom as well. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the show menu and just bring my joints and my IK handle back. And uh, what I'm going to do here is just select that IK handle. Uh, I need to make sure I've got my handles active up the top. So I'll grab the, uh, the spine IK, uh, and that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it Spine IK, like that. And uh, if you select the curve, now I'm going to pop over the outliner for this. Uh, what I want to do is grab the uh, the actual spine curve, and I'll find that down here. There's my Spine IK, and if I select that, I can see that's the, uh, the spine curve. So what I'm going to do is call this Spine IK curve CRV All right. and then I've got my cluster my two clusters there like that okay um, now what you can do um, is just reconnect your uh, your joints if you like, so the two uh, collar joints are going to go back onto the spine. So I'll just select the collars, then shift select the spine and hit P to parent. And we can also do the same thing down here with the hips onto the pelvis. Now at the moment, this is not set up in a way that's going to allow us to really animate this properly. Um, as I said, we're going to have to connect these all together with um, some additional um, connections. But uh, we can see sort of at the moment, if I grab, say, the pelvis curve, uh, when I move this around, you can see that the pelvis is going to stay where it is. Uh, what we'll be doing is kind of connecting all of these together um, with some control handles later on. So we'll have some control handles for the hips. We'll also have a control handle for the pelvis, um, for the middle of the spine, and then also for the shoulder area as well. Um, or the upper chest, and then we'll have some shoulder controls up here to uh, to deal with the um, the shoulder positions and the uh, the collarbones and so on, uh, and then obviously a control for the head. All right, so that's more or less the basic uh, setup for that uh, for that uh, spine. Okay, uh, we'll leave this here, and I'll see you again soon.